All right, and we are live. Welcome, 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 Facebook community, Triangle Entrepreneurial Leadership family. Uh, welcome to this experience, a virtual experience that I'm going to be talking about uh, with my good friend and uh, a lot of people don't know, Tracy Coach. Um, uh, of a couple of years now. So welcome. We're glad to have you on. Thank you. It's really good to be here. I always All love right, my and conversation. We are live. <laughs> welcome, welcome, uh -oh. welcome, Facebook community. Trying on. Is that your phone, Tracy? Okay, cool. Yeah, we're uh, good. All right, good, good, good. Okay. Yeah, well, glad to have you. Glad to have you. Um, so, you know, as I've been asking uh, the, the the folks who we've talked to already, Ken being one of those who is behind the scenes here producing this show for us, just got off with Rich Font, uh, videographer. And so just uh, share with us, we'll talk a little bit more about our connection, but just share with us, you know, I know you're big on, you know, goals and dreams and positive mental attitude and just mindset and just figuring out how to go with the flow and be present. And with all of that skill set that you've developed, um, how has all of this impacted your 2020 vision from the very beginning of the year? Coming. I don't think any of us saw this, right? I don't think any of us could say, oh, maybe some people, but I, <laughs> I mean, I don't, I have not spoken to anybody who has said, oh yeah, this is, this is what I had foresight on for 2020. Right. Um, but I think, you know, again, I'm, the nature of my work is to uh, pay attention to patterns, specifically mm -hmm. patterns in language, but patterns show up everywhere, right? right. For me, it was really a matter of, you know, starting to see the writing on the wall, starting to see some things are going to be shifting. There's going to be some massive changes. Don't know where, don't know what that's going to look like. But, you know, so coming into 2020, I was very curious. You know, I was kind of like, hmm, this will be interesting. And so, you know, one of the things I look at, too, when I, that I'm going to be talking about in the conference, you know, with mindset, is this concept of, you know, for so long, when we think about goals, for example, it mm -hmm. create a fixed mindset. Right. Mm. Where it's like, this is what I'm focusing on. This is what mm. I'm producing. This is what I'm going to make happen. You know, this this whole energy around I'm going to do this. And a lot of times it, it what comes with that is a lot of expectation. Right. Mm. I put in this amount of work. I expect this outcome. Yes. And we are in a time that I mean, really more than ever, expectations are going to really lead us potentially into pretty challenging places. Mm. because we don't know what to expect we don't right. know you know in, in some cases people are just like i mean i'm pivoting in the dark because i don't even know if this pivot is going to be better than what i'm doing currently i just have to kind of throw the spaghetti up against the wall and see if it sticks yes yes and yet, what that's teaching us i think is to step out of this zone of expectation into mm -hmm. an acceptance role right and one of my favorite i, I wrote a blog post actually many, many years ago about the difference between acceptance and expectation. And it really okay. goes along the lines. I'm not going to give it away because I'm going to talk about it in the conference. <laughs> That's right. I'll give it away. Right. Yeah. No, but you got to be there if you want to hear this. Story. Right. Um, but it it's one of those things where when we're, you know, mindset's everything, because again, what we, the meaning we give something, right? The mindset we have around something becomes the 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 thing that we experience, right? So the meaning we give something becomes our experiencing our experience of it. And so this this idea of if I'm focused on having to get from you know here to there in a certain way, and once I set out on my path, things happen, right? Things, mm -hmm. you know, there's there's all sorts of stuff that I I didn't know was going to come along. You know, if I'm still thinking, oh shoot, I gotta I gotta just push my way through, I gotta rock through this this thing. You know, not only can that take an exorbitant amount of energy, but it also can get us to the point where if we do get to our destiny you know, our destination, I meant, um, is that, you know, which could be our destiny too, actually, that's a whole different conversation. But <laughs> get to that point, we may just be worn out. Yeah. We may be in this mindset of, God, that took so much out of me, like looking kind of focused more on what didn't go right than mm -hmm. on the fact that we arrived where we said we wanted to be. Yeah. yeah. Right. So that's one of the things that I think, if anything, when I look out into the world, I think one of the, I want to say a gift. Uh, one of the biggest opportunities that's been given to us in in this time mm -hmm. has been to kind of force us out of this comfort zone of expectation yeah. where, you know, if I do X, then Y is going to happen. Um, yeah. Mondays, this is what happens in my schedule. Mm -hmm. Tuesday, this is what happens in my schedule. I drop the kids yeah. off at daycare. I can do you know, all that stuff. 
right? And as we get back, it's not going to be what we used to have. Right. right? It's not, well, true. We're not going back to the way things used to be. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, yeah. So. Yeah, there's no, there's no, I've heard it said, no new normal, right? It's it's going to be something different than what it is right now. And that's why we're so excited to do this event. You know, when we were, uh, when this thing started to begin to pick up some steam for me, the words that came to my mind were relevant and engaging, right? How can I continue in this season? Because the way we did business changed. So the first thing I said, how do we, get, how do we be relevant? How do you bring value to the marketplace that someone cares about right now in the midst of all of this this cloud of smoke that's kind of up before us, how can you be relevant? And then if you have something that's relevant, now you got to engage, right? You got to get the attention of the audience that you want to bring into you. And so when we started talking about this event, you know, how to stay relevant by creating, selling, and distributing content online, I was talking with Mia and we said, you know what, we got to have Tracy on this call because it's going to be so important for entrepreneurs to understand that the way we used to do business, do life, new experience has been forever changed. And that's exactly what you're what you're alluding to. And we don't want to give it away. But when we talk about pivoting, when we talk about rebooting, right? Um, man, how, how can we, again, without giving it away, just share with the listeners, just encourage them right now. If you really feel like, you know, I, I, I've shared with in the other calls, somebody was saying, man, you know, let's just get 2020 over with, right? You know, after the Kobe thing, they were like, they were done, right? And now after this, they're really done, but there's still seven and a half months left, right? We're It's still a lot of year, 2020 left. So how can we help to reframe the thinking of someone who's already thrown in the time? for 2020. Well, you know, and I'd say, cause I'm, I mean, you know me, I'm a big, let's call a spade a spade. Let's say what it is. And what it is, is that if we will miss a massive opportunity, if we stick our heads down and just say, let me get through this, because that is not what this is about. This isn't about just sticking our heads down and getting through it. It's literally about taking the opportunities and seeing what's working, what isn't working and what isn't working. How do we change that? Right. I mean, like never before we're asked to come back into our homes and pause right? Most of us are so hopped up on caffeine and the hamster wheel, that we don't have enough time in the old way of doing things, the old normal. We didn't have time. We didn't take the time to actually look at if what we were doing and investing in was something we even wanted. I can't begin to tell you how many people I've talked to said, there's a lot of things I'm not going back to. Mm. When I got to step back, I realized, what am I doing? Why am I doing that? That I don't want to be doing that. Right. You know, and so I would say if you just stick your head down and just pray that it's going to you know, end tomorrow, you're going to be missing the opportunity to take stock of whether what you're doing now is, first of all, what you want to be doing. And I would say that, you know, being relevant is about being authentic. Yes. Right? If we want to be relevant, I mean, Brene Brown has brought us plenty of research around vulnerability. We're going mm -hmm. into a time of transparency, you know, for people who think that they can use dodge and cover. You know, to get through things anymore, that is not going to work in marketing. It's not going to work in advertising. It's not I mean the gaslighting. All it's not going to be working. So we need to find a way to be comfortable with who we are. How do we get comfortable with who we are? We spend time with who we are. So take that opportunity. That's what I'd say to this, this these people who are just like, I just want to get through it. Is take the time and invest in you. What does authenticity mean to you? What do you need to, to, to show up as? Because I think in our culture, we've really made it about being politically correct and, and trying to produce what we think other people want from us instead of producing what we came to produce, right? There behind the scenes grinning right now because he is one of the most authentic, transparent brothers I know. And I give him a round of applause for being such, you know, and I say that, Tracy, because, you know, when we met, um, I had stood up Triangle Entrepreneurial Leadership maybe a couple of years before that. And when we met, you know, I told you ladies like, yeah, this is this is my thing. And and what you guys found through coaching and Tracy, by the way, guys, is an executive uh, leadership and performance coach. And she really quickly pulled the cover uh, from from over my eyes and said, no, Ryan, you're hiding behind this thing. Right. How do you come out from behind this wall that you put up? And because I just wanted to give other entrepreneurs an opportunity to tell their story, to sh share their product. I just wanted to be the man behind the scenes 
pushing people into their destiny, right? And she said, no, Ryan, you got to come out from behind this. You've got value to be your authentic self, to create opportunities and experience for other people. And it took some coaching, right? It, it, it took some, uh, some, some months uh, for me to, and I'm still trying to embrace that. Uh, and so I say that because it's so important a couple of things. One, to have a coach, right? Somebody who can uh, can can help you see your blind spots, but then also to have somebody that can push you uh, into your destiny, into that destination. And so if you have not registered for this conference, you got to do so, guys. You know, your mindset and your thinking is so critical to how you maneuver through these next seven months and beyond um, that having the right ideas, you know, our own thinking, my thinking, Tracy, had me kept at where I was in life. And so you coming into my life, Mia coming into my life, you know, we were going to have TT on this thing talking about strategy. I've already talked about Ken. We had Rich on earlier. Kim is going to teach us how to network virtually. So having the right team of people around you is so critical. So again, without, without blowing the thunder, right, of this thing, what can you think, what can you, what can people expect to walk away when you look at what we're putting together for them next week, the 20th and the 21st, what would you like to see people walk away with? Well, what I know they'll walk away with knowing our, knowing our lineup is mm -hmm. first and foremost, if you can't get it from this Facebook live and you can't get it from the other ones that are going on is the energy, right? Mm. You can't fake this stuff. I mean, you, again, showing up authentically you, you can't hide, right? right? When you're really showing up and letting people see who you are, it comes through. And I think mm -hmm. every single one of us who's a part of this uh, this conference is, is in that authentic space. We want to yeah. show up fully, but we are not showing up for us. We're showing up for you. That's right. right. We're showing up for all of you. We do this because it is our passion. We do this mm -hmm. because we were called to it. Yeah. And I think that's the other thing we all have in common. So, you know, what I, what I know people are going to walk away with is this feeling of, connectedness, right? Mm -hmm. And I think in order for us to really find those answers that we're seeking, we have to feel connected. Yes. We have to feel connected to the source, whatever, whether it's the person, the topic. The, and, and I feel that people will be able to connect with every single one of those things mm -hmm. in this conference. And so, you know, it, social distancing, I would love to change that language for one, <laughs> but it made us feel disconnected in a lot of ways. Yeah. And I think that more than anything for us to show up and feel the momentum and the motivation to, to pivot and refocus and, and reconnect is we need to feel that. We need to feel one another. We need to feel that we're in this together. We need to feel that support. Um, we need two you. things for growth. And this is my biggest takeaway, folks. Two things for growth. You need challenge, which we got a lot of. Yes, we do. Support, right? This challenge and support. Is give you more support than you could have ever asked for. Yeah. Right? Yeah. That's so good. Listen, if you're tuning in, you've got to register. Go out to 2020visionreboot.eventbrite.com and prepare to join us. Listen, guys, I don't want you to just decide, okay, I'm going to pop in for an hour here or there. Put, put, put this on your calendar next Wednesday and Thursday from one to four, because this is a progression that's going to help you position yourself to sell, to create, sell and distribute content online. But you're going to learn a whole lot more about yourself. And, and, and you're absolutely right, Tracy, there's that, you know. We are tribal people. We need one another. We need to be connected. We need to be pushed. And if we were supposed to do this thing alone, we'd have had an island all by ourselves. It's not the way this thing was designed. And in this season of physical distancing, uh, man, any opportunity we can come together, be authentic. Like, I'm excited. I wish it was tomorrow. Like, I'm excited already uh, after having talked to uh, Ken Saturday, Rich just earlier, and you now. Uh, I get so much energy energy from this. And I know that our viewers, participants are going to get a lot of energy from this as well. Um, so when you talk about uh, coming from an executive and le executive leadership performance coach, um, how can people kind of recalibrate their thinking um, to still be I don't know if successful is the right word, but to be to be present, right? To really get the most out of this opportunity. Like you said, don't stick your head in the sand. How can we really get the most out of this opportunity? 
Well, you know, for me, leadership in 2020 and beyond is about authentic leadership, right? And what I mean by that is being able to clearly define our value. And this is not the skill sets we've acquired. This is our innate value. This is what we were born and gifted with, right? But being able to clearly define that, not only that, but, you know, how we want to deliver that value into the world and where we want it to deliver that mm-hmm. value. And it, unless we become very crystal clear in defining that for ourselves, we're going to waffle as soon as we get push, which this time is challenging us to, it's a push. Yes, we're, yes. we're going to rock, right? We haven't set our firm foundations yet. And those, by defining those key things, we set those roots deep, right? So no matter what winds come, no matter what change comes, we're going to be able to weather that knowing who we are and how we operate. I call that our zone of genius, right? Being able mm-hmm. to stay in that zone of genius, knowing where the lane ends and begins. And it's if I go too far out of this, I'm out of my lane and I don't do well out of my lane. So let me keep in my lane. Yeah. That That's what I do in, mm-hmm. in my work. And that's what I what I intend to bring to, to my piece of this conference um, is, is to really help people understand how to do that. Not just that it's important, but how to define those things for themselves. Because again, we, we get so caught up in the how to based on what other experts have told us or Mm -hmm. how much money or how much until we get set with this, this and define this and define the legacy around this, the rest of it is just not, it's not going to have anything to stick to. Right. So I think leadership going forward is going to be, we can't do it like anyone else. We can only do it like us. And when we try to be like someone else, we fail miserably. Mm -hmm. Right. And so I think for each person is to define what that is for themselves. And whether they're a leader of, of, you know, a corporation or whether they're a leader of their home, right? Mm-hmm. They're, they're one person home. They're the mm-hmm. leader of themselves. Mm-hmm. It's still the same. The same yeah. principles apply, right? And, and this feeling of unsurety and uncertainty that we feel isn't really about money or where our, our, we're going to pivot our business to. It's literally about ourselves. What we're feeling right now is a lack of confidence because we don't know us. We don't know who we are. We don't know. Ah, all right. That's enough. That's enough. You best. Ooh, that's good. That's good. Listen, Trey, this is so relevant though right now, because, you know, in the work that I do with Jobs for Life, we talk about the dignity of work and that we were created to work, the value that we get out of delivering our gifts and talents to the marketplace. But how many people's identity was wrapped up in titles, in position, in their salaries, right? And now, how do you calibrate that, right? I mean, people that were doing very, very good two, two and a half months ago have no idea what tomorrow looks like. And 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 and, and you're talking about leadership now is a totally different person. Like we're learning the value. Who's valuable now? The people who we didn't think were so valuable before, right? In our hierarchy, right? Where we're seeing who's essential to the function of our society. And and this, I I can't wait to hear the value that you're going to bring on next week. This is so, so relevant. Uh, Guys, listen, if you haven't registered, go out right now to 2020visionreboot.eventbrite.com. Join us next week, next Wednesday and Thursday, uh, as we really help you to reboot your 2020 vision. So Tracy, listen, I know you're, 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 you're a leader in your home your family, uh, in your community. We are so grateful for your time. Uh, but just share with us just some parting words um, uh, as to why someone really just don't miss this event on next week. Well, you know, I always tell people when they say, how do I know which way to go? I'm like, we know. We have three brains. We have our head brain, which we're very conditioned to. We have our heart brain. We have our gut brain. And we know this scientifically because we have the same cell structure in each part of these, this our parts of our body and they all speak to one another and so listen to if this resonates if there is one aspect of what you hear that resonates one word in anything that is that is marketed in this conference to you that resonates you know even if you think you've heard it before that's i hear that all the time when i'm working with clients like i thought i worked on this stuff already you know it's we peel that onion and and you know we are dedicated to this work yeah. Right. Every single one of the people who are presenting at this conference are dedicated to this work. Right. So you're going to come you're going to come away with a golden nugget of some sort. Mm-hmm. And don't you owe yourself that investment? Yes. That's what I say to people. Don't you owe yourself that investment? Look at where we've been spending our time in the past. Yeah. 
You know, there is nothing like today to invest in time for ourselves, right. to learn and grow, to be better people, right? To be, and I mean better, I don't mean better by comparison. I mean right. better by more authentic and more deeply connected, not only to ourselves, but also to our mission. Yeah. Guys, listen, Tracy Phillips is phenomenal at what she does. If if you're stuck right now and you need someone to just kind of help you get out that rut, Tracy, tell, tell us how we can reach you. Where are you at? Where can we find you uh, to support us along this journey? Well, these days I'm everywhere for, for trying to get, this, get people into this conference. I am, uh, so I am on, obviously I have a website, uh, which is theinnatecoach.com. I'm on Instagram. Um, I'm on Facebook. Uh, you can find me on LinkedIn. And uh, again, I just reach out. I mean, I'm happy to answer any questions too about, you know, people are wondering, you know, how long should I count? Like, really, I, I'm happy to answer specific questions too. So just message me. Um, but that's that's where you can find me these days. I'm showing up, showing up a lot. I'm, I'm, I'm learning to do that. I'm trying to take drink my own Kool-Aid. <laughs> Yes, yes. Well, it's necessary. We need you out here in the field. You have a good message. Again, I'm grateful uh, for the role you played in my pivoting and transition and bringing me right to this point that I am. Before this, before you, I was triangle entrepreneurial leadership. Now I'm Ryan Ray. <laughs> I, that no bells to my ears. <laughs> <laughs> well, I do appreciate you. Appreciate you being here. Uh, give the family our love and we look forward to seeing you, if not before, next week on the 20th and the 21st uh, at the 2020 Vision Reboot. Again, go out and get your tickets today, guys. You do not want to miss this event. Thank you, Tracy. Thank you, Ryan. Great Talk to see you. Talk to you soon. Okay. Bye-bye.